putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cutty. What's good, fam squad? So, Eric DaCosta has literally drafted six players in the first round within two years. I know some of you all are thinking, what the heck are you talking about, Raven? See, bear with me, bear, 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 bear with me. Okay. Last year, we had Rashad Bateman and away, 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 away. Okay. Got to get the jersey. Okay. Then this year, Kyle Hamilton. Okay, then the second pick, Tyler Lindenbaum. Okay, then where you okay? Y'all like, okay, that's four, that's four. All right. All right, then there's David Ojabo. He was in the second round. He got injured, but he was projected to go in the first round. If he didn't get injured, he would have went in the first round. Then also, after that, we have Travis Jones. Projected to go in the first round. He failed for some weird reason. He got picked in the third. But if you look at his pre-draft rank, they have him number 30 for Yahoo Sports. They have him number 30, so that's still within the first round. So that's why I say Eric DaCosta has picked six first round talents in two years. Now, for as what they do in the future, we don't know, we're gonna see. But it's interesting because we we, we already know Bateman and Bateman and OA to me go. Cal, Cal Ham, Hamilton, to me, I was he's the best best uh, safety in the draft. Nobody's seen him going, falling all the way to fourteen, which in my opinion is still ridiculous, because the man is a ball hawk. But his pre-draft was number three on Yahoo Sports. Then the best center. In the draft, and we all know a lot of people, center or left tackle, that's some of the main offensive picks that usually get picked a lot in the first round. And this dude fell all the way to 25. Like, what? What? But that's just like crazy. Then you get the best, well, the second best defensive tackle in Travis Jones. And he falls all the way to the third. It's like the other 31 teams forgot. It's like literally they forgot. Like he was there, or did they just, you know, just overlook him or something? Cause that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not complaining. Cause he's gonna be a beast. And the fact that, matter of fact, he beat, um, I believe that was the Patriots first round pick. He told him up in that little scrimmage they had, little practice. Ain't that man alive? And he was in the first round. Think about that. And everybody's already raving about him, Travis Jones. In the off-season program, the rookies, everybody just praising him. Then you look at Ojabo, David Ojabo. Had the injury, really sucked. But God works in mysterious ways. He's back with his defense coordinator that he likes. 
which knows him very well. Then he has a possibility of playing this year in October, which they're going to bring him back very slowly. But he just, while he's still rehabbing, he gets to learn from Yoda himself, like his best friend from high school did last year. Oh, wait. So, it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. Marcus Williams teaching, you know, Kyle. Then we got Justin Houston teaching Ojabo. Got Calais Campbell teaching Travis Jones. And the only one that I can't think having a teacher is Tyler. But he really, yeah, he, he has a lot of teachers. Cause he has, I believe, Morgan. He has um, Stanley. Zettler. Yeah, so he's good. He's literally surrounded by vets that's been in the game. All the tricks and stuff that can teach him. So, I'm like what Eric DaCosta is doing. He dogging it. He just killing it. He just killing it. Six picks. Two years. Which I think. 